and welcome to our first episode of Beta Accounting Tutor. Today we'll be discussing the accounting equation. The accounting equation is simple. It's assets equals liability plus stockholders equity, which is also known as shareholders equity or owners equity. But what does this mean? We'll begin with simple definitions today to be expanded in later videos. Assets are resources owned by a company that are expected to provide a future benefit that can be measured and expressed in dollars. The most common asset is cash, but there are others like supplies and buildings. Liabilities are basically IOUs, like buying something on credit. You get the benefit of the asset right away, but you owe the other person money, and the amount owed is the liability. Some forms of liability can accrue interest, while others do not. Owner's equity represents the value of money or other assets received from investors, either in exchange for stock or as a donation and retained earnings. To understand the accounting equation, it's important to understand one life lesson. There is no such thing as a free lunch. For a company, this means that for every asset they claim, they need to explain how they got this asset. Scenario 1. Suppose I own a donut shop and I buy a big bag of flour. Clearly, I'm not stealing this bag of flour, but how am I paying for it? If I pay with cash, then I simply debit my supplies account and credit the amount of cash I paid for it. When making a journal entry, the debits are usually written closest to the left-hand side, while credits tend to have an indentation. This time, Let's say I paid with cash. This is what my journal entry would look like. And since cash and supplies are both on the asset side of the equation, my accounts remain balanced. So because an asset generally has a normal debit balance, when I credit my cash account, it actually counts as a negative. I'm just going to write this here, but when you're doing your journal entries, you would not put a negative there. It's just showing that this is actually a negative on your asset, which is cash. But supplies, which is an, also an asset account, we are debiting it, so it's actually a plus. So if we look at it right now, the plus and minus on the asset side, because they're for the same amount, they cancel it out. So the net change to your asset is actually zero. So if you're good at algebra, you might be thinking, hey, wait a minute, can't you rewrite the accounting equation as liabilities equals assets minus shareholders equity or something like that? And mathematically speaking, you're not wrong. However, the general format does put assets on the left-hand side and the other two on the right because it translates very well into the balance sheet which we'll get into in the next video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We'll see you next time.